And we're coming live and direct. 101-955-1055. 287-8412. That's right. Those are the numbers. Remember. Is that your, uh, your gym workout? Shoulders, chest, core, arms, legs, and back. Wow. Yeah. Cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> you like the specificity? Yeah, man. You got all science here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, bro. What do you do for core? Uh, sit-ups. Uh, other kinds of sit-ups. Solid. Other kinds of sit ups. There's a lot of kinds of sit ups. There's a lot of kinds of sit ups. And you can also do the leg lifts. Ooh. It's naughty, that stuff. Very it's naughty. N- it's really, really naughty. Very naughty. So uh, really let's get straight in. Power shift, eh? <laughs> Power shift in North London again. <laughs> We're back. Can we just have a. Ha 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 and then we it have really it until we because now even when they're ahead of us, we just, well you got you got bad. I feel like we're gonna lose our only listener, <laughs> <laughs> George. Sorry, George. George, we're sorry, bro. We're sorry, bro. <laughs> He's definitely number one listener. Oh yeah! Shout we, out to the to our biggest fan. We need to reward him. Yeah, well he'll definitely be getting some of the giveaways. Yeah, George, when the giveaways. Tom George, spunk in a George, jar. can you also pay for the giveaways? <laughs> 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 he is our sugar daddy. He is our sugar daddy. We need to get him funding the podcast. Yeah. He's a good chairman. Yeah, he is a good chairman. He's, he's, he's done well fantasy. with your football team, yeah. He's funded the... Uh, the fantasy. The uh, the FIFA. Now he needs to fund the podcast. Yeah. If Send you got given £5,000... Yes, yes. And someone said you have to spend it on your podcast, what would you do? And don't say get a new co-host. <laughs> get a new co-host. <laughs> we'll just, do, we'll just pay five grand for one bloke to show up as a guest for one show. <laughs> do you know what I'd do? What? I'd have like... I'd have a sick. I'd make a sick little setup with video recording, mm. but like from far back, mm. all legit, looks mm. bare nice. And mm. I'd have like a nice little studio, a mm. couple of nice seats. You can't so, just buy a studio for five grand. It's way more than that. No, but I'd set up the studio. So what, I'd have it. In like where my, would be the studio? Probably your bedroom. All right. Well, this is. Um, I mean, ideally, we your man cave. Man cave would be good. We'd have two chairs, White two wall very in the good background. chairs. I've got them two comfy chairs. You've yes. got two comfy chairs. That's very doable. White right? wall in the background. You have three cameras set up, one on both of us, another one on each of us. But we haven't got um, all the mics are set up here, man. And like the yeah. computer. Oh, there's a computer in there. We could get another one of these little bad boys for like 100 quid. Fuck, you made a money, are you? Well, that's when the sugar daddy comes in. Yeah, there you go, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> so, power shift, yeah? Well, you were at the game. You talk us through yeah, it. I was at the game. You had the, you had the hot seat. God, and how I was dreading it. And yet it ended up being a fabulous afternoon. Do you know what it was that was so nice? There was no there was no nerves, no like edgy moments. They were never in the game. That were, well, my dad was saying there was no nerves coming into it, but then at half time, the nerves came in. It was like, now we have something to lose. Yeah, but it was ev- there was never like... There was those nerves, but there was never a reason for them. They, they was we made them look average. Well, yeah, they were they were fully, fully dominated. It was weird. Like, they it were like pinned they down up for on it. the bed. It looked like they weren't up for it. They weren't up for it. They were scared. They were scared. Poch doesn't know how to fucking motivate a team. That's yeah. where Wenger comes in. That's what he's got. He motivates man. <laughs> What did you say? Motivates. Mo- mo- maybe I did say motivates. I thought it was like a word for unmotivating. That's demotivating. Yeah. Hashtag knowledge. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looked like they just, like, it was bizarre, man. They didn't fancy it. We look like how they normally play and they look how, like how we normally play. You know what? I was, while watching it, I thought, I don't know what, what point it was, but they hit a couple shots over the top of the bar and a couple shots got blocked and I just thought, they're not scoring today. I did think. I think they I f- didn't look dangerous. I just man. felt like they had nothing in them. They didn't. didn't Harry feel Kane like they were looked like it. what he looked like when you play FIFA, where he's just slow, mm-hmm. lethargic, and like yeah. all the things that he's good at don't matter. In Monreal's back pocket, mate. Mate, Monreal's gonna find him when he takes his fucking shorts off the game. <laughs> Nacho. That mate. Harry Kane floating around. <laughs> <in> there. <laughs> you know, there was a classic line where it was like, I think it was like Rotherham drew with Man City, nil nil in the FA Cup, or maybe they even beat them. It was like a lower league team. Yeah. And one of the centre backs tweeted after the game, and he was like, "He was like, I was washing my kit, uh, and I heard a jingling. Thought it was some change, but it was a Guerrero in my back yeah, pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Classic. Classic. 
What a legend. Legend. What did you think of Wenger's team selection and his tactics? Um... Team selection was all right. It was a pretty strong team, to be mm. honest. I was I didn't realize Mustafi was back, so I I was quite pleasantly surprised when he, he was in the team. Unbelievable! He looked um, unbelievable. He for someone that's been out as well. I was I was disappointed when he took Lacazette off, but it ended up being fine, I guess. See, I disagree with that, man. I think that's I I think that's what we don't normally do. Like we're two 0 up and we still attack, 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 and we're like, why can't we defend? Like, I think that was I, I love that. Like yeah. games won, man. I don't know. Get that I wanted him to take fucking um, Xhaka off then. Nah, I was thinking yellow he's card. He's being reckless. He could have. He, he was. He was. Re- he's a reckless young man. Mm. I, I. I. I wanted to see him come off, but look, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to give I, credit I, where credit's I due. Liked, he I did liked well. The tactics worked. Well done, Wenger. Well done, mate. Well it's done. Like they say now, though, man. Now it's like you can't now go and lose or draw to Burnley. Just retire now. That you've just retire. won oh, the great. North yeah. London derby, dominated Spurs, retire. Did you watch the the post? Yeah, I bet you didn't. Did no. you watch the thing I sent you? So I was listening to his post match presser. Yeah, presser. He's such a good talker. Yeah, he's so wise, man. He does. He's well, he's a, he's a very intelligent man. He is. He's got like five degrees. When I watch he's, him, he's like eight languages. Yeah, when I watch him give press conference, I feel bad for the abuse that I give him. You shouldn't. He deserves it. Don't yawn into my mic, bro. You shouldn't. He you deserves respect it. that mic. Fuck this mic, innit? Does this mic work? Well then, fuck this mic. He's gone quiet. Who? McGregor. My, my boy Connor. Yeah, he's in the cinemas and shit. It's true, innit? it? You think they're not the doing game. shit? They're always doing stuff, these people. That man's they're winners. busy. They're he's winners. a busy, busy man. He must wake up and just busy be body. busy, like bombarded with shit all day. Oh, yeah. He must wake up with about 400 texts on his phone No, he has a team that must deal with all that kind of shit. Yeah, but he's still got a phone. I've got his documentary arriving at some time today. I could figure figure anything. I want to watch less. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. I feel like it's... No, there's, there's probably some things out cool there. It's a cool story, though, man. Because it starts... Some it's gay porn and stuff like that. You love gay porn. It starts. Stop it. it. starts with him before he's in the UFC when he's still like not making any money. So it's quite yeah, and there's probably like four videos of him when he was before UFC. No, they used to film everything at that SBC gym. There's really? Yeah, yeah, it's mad footage. Loads of it. There's footage of his like first ever fights. It's cool, man. Yeah. All right, I'll bite my tongue. I'll watch it. Come watch it, man. Watch it tonight. No. Good. You're fucking watching it. Ugh. 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 You watch it. Ugh. But he motivate you, mate. A bit of inspiration. Yeah, actually, you're right. He will motivate me. He's a motivational man. He's a motivational man. Yeah, he's a good speaker. Great speaker. You know what? I'd like to have Wenger to give me a half-time deep talk every day. Like, halfway Venger. through the day. Wenger. Really? Yeah, you have and... done okay so far. Do you reckon uh, Wenger gets angry at the players? No. Do you, he, he doesn't, does disappointed he? and frustrated, but not angry. But he's got, like, he has got a bad temper, man. Like, you see him at the United game, he goes into the fans, like, he... he that's because he's deluded and he loses his cool with like referees and shit like that, even though they haven't done anything wrong. He's been coming out with some classics about that Man City game. Oh, yeah. I bet he has. Hmm. Well, how we deserve to win it. A bit well, like how like, Poch is talking about this game. Yeah, but he was like, uh, he was like, oh, like, if you, if you analyse the game, to be fair, he made me completely turn around and say, like, <laughs> if you analyse the game, we uh, we had the same shots on target. And I was like, wow, we did. You're right. So what? You're yawning into my mic again. So bro. what? Why are you yawning into my mic, bro? Because this day and this life has taken my energy. This day? This day. Talk to me about your day. Can we have a uh, a podcast therapy session? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Well, the, okay. Am I playing the role of a therapist? Yeah. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Tom. How was your week? Horrible. This is what they always say. How was I hate so, myself. So how was your week? I hate myself. Okay. Um, did anything nice happen <laughs> this week? <laughs> I'm not going to make how this they, easy for you, How pal. do they deal with that, though? I know. Like, straight away you said that for, oh, shit, what do you say? Yeah, no, but I, don't, I take it easy on them, though. I'm throwing you in the deep end. No, but there must be some people that don't. Oh, yeah. Like, I, ha- like, just I hate It my happened life. again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got beaten by Arsenal. <laughs> I was going to go way darker than that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I, I felt that there was two roads I could have gone down. I think you made a wise decision. I think we it might have become I- irrecoverable, <laughs> unrecoverable after, after what I was going to say next. So just move right past that. Oh, we're not doing our therapy. It's going to get dark. I'm boring and pointless. I still... No, therapy is never pointless. <laughs> oh, what a great therapist <laughs> line. Therapy is never pointless, Jordan. Do you like my therapy voice? I like more. I want more. I want... Give me more wisdom here. Inspire me. If you're not first, you're last. <laughs> Tough times don't last. Tough people What's do. What's his name? Bobby what? Bobby. Bobby... Bobby Bobby. Bobby... If what? you're not first, you're last. No, it's Bobby O'Shea. Bobby O'Shea. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. Oh, I watched. Um, what did you? Oh, watch? I want to get into one day with you. I know this is hashtag <sighs> ten years old, but my god, who's in it? My fucking god, hungover, needing to. Oh wow, you're I'm such an emotional man. An emotional wreck. I cried like a baby at that film. There's nothing like a good romantic, sad film to make me cry. Notebook. You cried. like the Notebook? Fault Between Our Stars. Yeah. Did I cry over that? Yeah. Don't know, but you fucking wouldn't shut up about yeah. it for about two months. Nearly got a tattoo about one. What was that thing? What was that saying? Pain demands to be felt. Pain demands to be felt. God, it does. Yeah, that was a good one, man. Nearly but yeah, got this, a tattoo. So this film, yeah, I think it's like 2007 or 2006. So it's Anne Hathaway. Don't know the other dude's name, but he was in the guy from 21. And it starts with them like leaving uni. And like right. they kind of hook up. So... They like get with each other and they're like laying bed that and then she comes out. She's like, oh, like she's like really bad at this. She's like, I'm really bad at this. Like she doesn't know how to be like sexy. Right. So she goes to the bathroom and she gets in like her, what's that called when you graduate? Uh, the gown. The or gown. Whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, okay, so she yeah. goes in and she like gets naked, just gets in that. And then as she comes out, he's quickly putting his trousers on to try and leave. So it's like awkward and he's just asked like, why? Then she's like, I'll oh, go, go. And he's like, no, no, I'll stay, I'll stay. And then they kind of decide to be friends. And Why was he going to cut? Because it was awkward. <sighs> I don't know, man. He was just like... Well, he didn't feel it. I don't think so. So he was just waiting for her to get naked and then cutting out. Well, she was like, oh, one second, I'm going to the bathroom. Then. Oh, I don't know if they all had already banged cold, or not. Now I look back on it, maybe they'd already done the deed. Mm. I feel like you haven't. You didn't watch the film properly. I was doing sobbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the credits start. I'm like, oh. it's hard to see through yeah. tear stained eyes. <laughs> and um, and yeah, so it's like basically it's based on the 15th of July every year, which is like a special weird day of like some saint or something. Like I think it's called like Saint Totterin's Day. <laughs> okay. Something like that. Right. Anyway, so it's about their friendship and like they're always kind of like they're like best friends. But there's always like something between them and it. And then he Bit of chemistry. He ends up like having girlfriends and she has boyfriends, but they still always talk and then like he gets into like coke and like alcohol and he becomes a bit for like it starts off where like she's working, it kind of like a role versus so she the earlier years, like she's like really like clever and she likes to do like art and like music and stuff. Right. But she's working in like a tortilla bar and she's just like really like, unfulfilled. But then like he's doing really well and he's like going to like India to work and travel and like things are going really good and then it kind of switches. Mm. So she gets like a, a hashtag, by the way, I'm just describing one day, but it was amazing. You have to watch it. <laughs> this is just a synopsis. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So then, it, it, yeah. But then so, the world needs to know. The world needs to know. <laughs> you could just probably watch the film. Yeah, you? guys, you could just go ch- search on IMDb, get a much more well-rounded summary. But then so she meets, the, she goes to Paris, meets a French guy. He, Long story short, he has a kid. His wife gets married. His wife then cheats on his best friend. All goes tits up. He goes to Paris and he says, look, like, let's get together. She's like, I can't just leave everything for you. I'm, I'm with this guy. Da, da. Mm. Walks off, classic, runs after him, get together, yeah? Mm. Then they're starting to have a baby and it's like, it's all going well. Like, not they're trying for a baby. They, right, they don't have right. one. All going well. So they're just getting down. He rings, he's like, look, I know she goes, oh, I'm not pregnant. He's like, okay, like, look, let's meet up for dinner. Like, let's talk about it. Cool. So it shows you their day. Da, da. This is like towards the end of the film. She calls him. She's like, I'm on my way home. I'm on my way to the restaurant to meet you. <laughs> he gets the voicemail. As he gets the voicemail, she's just cycling along, yeah? Ugh. Bruh, but so like, out of the blue, yeah? yeah. yeah. No, because listen to how they film it. So <laughs> if you can imagine being at the start of an alley and the camera's just looking down the alleyway. Yeah. So she cycles, goes the whole way down the alleyway. So like she's getting firm and far away from you. And then you just see this lorry. Boom. <laughs> 
plow through her and she just goes boom like you see her body and then it just pans on her and she's just like oh and then she gets she's under the lorry as it drags her oof that's ugly and it pans out and she just and then he just like whole life goes to shit so sad man so what he just, he's just fucking distraught over like, the well they like finally got dead. together in it and then like, like loads of sad shit like his mum dies of cancer so he like he bonds with his dad over the fact they both lost like the woman they love and shit it's nice man this film sounds real depressing Oh, bro, it brought it out of me, man. That's what I needed, though. I had trapped emotions from my hangover. Needed to come out. <laughs> yeah, how, tell us about your weekend. You went down to fucking... And then I just bust into Madagascar afterwards because I started getting depressed. I was like, film. I need to cheer myself up. I wanted to watch um, Shark's Tale the other day. Oh, that's a good one as well. Great. I haven't watched that for a while. At the car wash. That the Norwegian the girl I was in was obsessed with Disney, so I watched every Disney animated, any kind of them. There's a lot of girls out there that are obsessed with mm-hmm. Disney, aren't they? Can you please control your phone? Was that my phone? Yeah, twice. Twice probably, in a row. Probably that bird from Friday, mate, you know? Hey. No! Oh, God. Breaking news Uh-oh. on the Anteater's nipple. What? Dun, dun, dun. We have a new subscriber. David Hay has been forced to pull out of his rematch with Tony Bellew after injuring his bicep in a freak accident. He's such a pumplex. He needs to just quit. Just quit. What is it? What's going to be next? Like, Can I say, guys, we're nose. bringing you breaking news here. Breaking news. This I mean, quite... by the time the podcast comes out, the news is going to be about eight so hours So Tony old. Bellew just um, Tony Bellew just tweeted a sad face. He said, despite the recent injury rumors, I was in perfect condition with an incredibly strong training camp, currently, currently weighing lighter than I have for more than five years. I couldn't wait to get back in the ring. I was ready to rewrite the ending of the Hey Bellew saga. Unfortunately, after a freak accident during a stair conditioning session, which I've done hundreds of times before, I lost my footing, slipped, and instinctively grabbed the banister to stop myself falling down the stairwell, and in doing so, managed to damage my bicep. Is that from Sky Sports? Did you get that? Mm. Yeah, I just got it now. How come I got it like two minutes later? Because I just have breaking news and you have late news. Mm, Makes sense. I break news. You do. You break the internet. Uh yeah, weekend man. Weekend was a was a good weekend. Oh great! I'm just smashing shit. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you everywhere. God, these yeah. mics are good. They're very sensitive. Sensitive mics. They're like my my mental health. They're very sensitive. You need to be treated with care. Uh yeah, no good weekend, man. Good weekend. Yeah, solid. Fucking out on a little fucking raz with the out lads. On the raz hotels. Hotels, women, drugs. Women. No drugs. No drugs. No drugs. Well, there was drugs. No, no drugs for me. Um, yeah, of course not. Don't wink at me. There was no <laughs> drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like, no, no. I got you, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do you want to know, bro? Well, see, I feel there's sensitive material that we shouldn't discuss. Uh, what f- towards me? Mm. Why? What's sensitive? I don't know. Beefs. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's funny. We've all been punched in the face, haven't we? Joe, you know it wasn't even a punch. You know what it was? It was like so. It was more like a like a. Do you know when you like to go to slap a fly? You're like, ah, get away! It's yeah. more like that than an actual punch. And it bloodied your nose. Yeah, you got a weak nose. I got a strong nose, bro. You got a weak <laughs> nose. You got his, a fly swipe. His wrist will never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> no medics are with him as we speak. No, it was good though, man. I just wish that like I just I said to Connor now, there's no need to get that drunk. That seemed like there is because you lot all had a great night. Yeah, but it was a great. It could have been a, just as great night because like the morning after was so funny. Like, yeah, just like waking up, like we were all still a bit like pissed and just like, oh man, Will was cracking me up. Like he was so funny. How many of you in each room? Uh, Two per room. Ended up with three of us staying in my room, and then Will and Cap having their own rooms because everyone. Just, well, Ryan couldn't wake Will up, and then we obviously went to have three. So me, Ryan, and Connor. So. Oh, you got some big booty threesome right we there. Down. We went down. You got that big booty. We went down. Plus another Connor's big like, booty. Me, Connor, and Cap are getting ready in the room. And, uh, and then I was like, oh, Connor, I might come for a snuggle late night. And he's like, nah, don't, mate. I'll probably have to bum you. I was like, whoa. Oh, whoa okay. <laughs> Definitely be getting in now. <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> Cap was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you don't crack me up yet. So Cap had paid for his, <laughs> mm-hmm. Cap had paid for his own room, innit? Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, if anyone, like, gets with a girl, they can just use Kappa's room. Mm. Or do someone said that. 
It wasn't me. Someone said, anyone's asked, if someone gets to go and have uh, uh, Cabbage Room, and then Cabbage goes, no, you fucking won't. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Cabba. Classic Cabba. Um, but yeah, Beaconsfield, man. Good night out. Good night out. Good time. Sounds like a horrible establishment. It's nice around there. It's like really like... Oh, is it? Yeah, it's an expensive place, man. Is it like in the country? Yeah. It's like a quiet little like village. Check you There's like out. one club Probably there. go fox hunting next time, won't you? Dirty poshos. We are dirty poshos. There's a crazy bear hotel there. A what? You ever heard of crazy bear? No. It's a good place to go. Fair, it's very expensive. It's like 3 50 for the night. Well, what would they do? What's crazy about it? It's like a hotel um, and the rooms are just like really weird. Like It depends what room you get. Like Will said, there's like he got like some kinky room with like all like leather stuff and like yeah, your eyes are lit up now, aren't they, mate? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I'm mean, asexual as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Faye had an exhibition the other day, actually, out in like Campbellwell, yeah. And we went there, and it was like this this sort of old pub that had been turned into a gallery. Went downstairs, and there's just all these like hooks on the ceiling, which everyone's going like, "Oh, that's for for the art to hang the art and stuff." And I'm going like, "These are industrial hooks, like." Mm. This is this is where you hang up fucking gimps from the ceiling and yeah, shit, yeah? yeah. And then we got talking to the person they were like who runs it and they were like, "Oh yeah, we've got a sex dungeon around the back." Bro, they, this place had a sex dungeon in it. They unlocked it, yeah, it was just bare whips and shit on the wall. Just like red lit bedroom with a bed in the middle just at the bottom of this pub do you know when you see Apparently this it's a shit swingers pub. it just makes you think that like your sex life is so vanilla oh my sex life is so vanilla do you know when you just see this stuff that you're like of course what it the is. hell like I'm just like missionary most of our sex lives a... are super vanilla compared to what's go- going on out there maybe we need to open up the doors of weirdness man you know what if 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 uh do you know what I read a thing though sorry to enjoy I read a thing once it was saying that a lot of couples yeah even though they're so close, like sex is still like a bit of a taboo subject mm. between some couples. Mm. So it's like there's certain things where like they both want to do, but they but they might not say. Yeah. So like you and Faye might just want to like throw me into the mix, see what happens. <laughs> you both might really want that, but you're scared to say. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Yeah. See, I don't really think I have. What, a fetish or you don't have? You're not, not, not like a weird fetish. I like a foot. But you know, <laughs> you know, but we're not. We're, foot. But I don't like to do anything mad with it. Um, you know, I, I don't. I know. just don't have any. We- yeah, I don't even. We've both said like I've had like uh, I've like been going like oh like what like what's your fantasy? What do you want? Yeah, and it's yeah. just like oh just bang, isn't it? Like, regular, regular missionary. He I'm, usually does a trick. Yeah, let me just bust a nut. I'll be <laughs> I'll be happy with that. Like just just just, just give me some contact, and really? I'm happy. Yeah. Let's just watch one day together and hold me. You know what? When I just went into the uh, Monica's calf, yeah, some yeah. weird bald dude came in, yeah, who just reminded me of some creepy politician. He was probably straight out of next door's masseuse place. He was very strange. And he sort of came up to the lady who was making the sandwiches and there was like a plate full of croissants on the on the desk. And I don't know whether they knew him or not, but he came in and he was like, oh, these croissants look soft or something. And like started poking them a bit. Ugh. And the lady was like... Oh yeah, well you can poke it if you buy it, yeah. and and then he just sort of looked up and he went, yeah. What if I just stuck my finger right through the middle of it, just repeatedly? Like, and she was sort of like giggling, but I wasn't sure whether she knew him and it was like funny or whether she was like, okay, this guy's a fucking freak. That is weird. But he just had this really weird vibe to him, and when I looked at him, I was like, this guy's this guy's dodgy. And the way he was doing it, I felt like I got a little window into his sex life though. <laughs> it was very it's all, strange it's all and poking but we had this a bit like <laughs> bit of an off track thing but we had this guy when I used to work at JD years ago mm. there was this crazy white guy who came in yeah in so like he must have had some like mental problems in it but he was just like such a dick yeah, yeah. and he used to come in with this like older guy who was like I think they must have been like related in it mm. So he came in this like one, the first time I ever saw him, everyone like warned me about it. He came in and I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, yeah. He came in, the guy who was with, the older guy, sat down and he grabbed, my boss at the time who was the manager, had a clipboard. He grabbed the clipboard, yeah, from my boss' hand, snatched it off him. The old dude? No, the young oh, guy. The, young the old guy. dude was normal. Oh, okay. He was just sitting there like, minding his own business. Yeah. He grabbed the clipboard and he hit his, like whoever it was, granddad or whatever, across the head with it, but like as hard as he fucking could, innit? And it's a clipboard, man. Mm. It was only like a 
there's like plastic ones but they got like the rubber casing yeah, so it wasn't yeah. hard hard but you could tell the guy was like whoa like, and he was like oh stop stop like say, say his name Jamie stop Jamie like so and then like you could tell it hurt and he was just like he picked up a football started booting it around the shop blah, blah, blah. anyway he left in it and I was like what a cunt yeah and it just reminded me of when you said because the next time he came in I was like if this guy tries it I'm gonna blah 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 swear to god I turn around yeah I'm kind of trying to avoid him innit? Mm. I turn around I'm just like like playing with the shoes like doing laces he jumps on my back yeah how old is swear this guy? swear to fucking god uh, I would say like late 20s maybe right but he was tiny he was just like a fucking little pikey innit? right but he was tiny like he was like I don't know 5'5 five, five and really skinny mm. I wasn't as wedge as I was in these days. I was bang him on blood and <laughs> <laughs> but I jumped out and I didn't know what to do. I was like, "What the? Am I, am I allowed to like throw him off me?" It, yeah. And then Jerome, didn't remember the dude yeah, I used to yeah, work with, yeah, was yeah, like, hey, yeah. "Bro, get the fuck off him, man!" And I sort of like pulled him off, yeah. Mm. And I was like, "Look, man, you gotta leave in it. Like, you can't be doing that." And then on his way out, he just keeps trying to like grab things and like throw shit down. Insane. I never saw him again after that. But they told me because I was kind of new there at the time. They were like, "Oh yeah, he always comes this in and like guy's fucks an the shop." Irritating up. fuck, yeah. nutter man. The world is littered with these horrible humans. They must have something wrong with them, though, man. I don't care. It's not normal functioning behaviour. I don't though, care. Man. I don't either. I really don't. Do you know what does bug me? When it's like, oh, there's like this wrong with us. Sometimes people are just shitty people. You know when they're like, oh, the guy, you know, he's he's a bit this or that. It's just like, no, he just wants fucking attention, bro. Or he's just a massive Boring. Bellend. There are people with Boring. genuine problems, but he might just be a genuine fucking arsehole. Yeah, just because you've got special needs don't mean, don't, don't mean exclude you from being able to be a cunt. And there's also a, a cunt. A cunt. <laughs> there's also a cunt. A cunt. A oh, cunt. Cunt's a horrible word. Oh, that's a lovely word. I love it. You it's one of my favourite words You do ever. love it, don't you? It's great. When I was geezer, growing up, mate. if I ever said, you, you, you're you turning into a geezer. I'm turning in, bro. You are a geezer. I'll run the streets. <laughs> <laughs> that's James, man. James runs these streets. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Yeah, when I was growing up, if I used that word, I used to get like proper like, that was the one word that was off off charts in my house. Really? Yeah, man. Like, if you use that word, you got in some shit. Geff you you were going to the bottom of the stairs. Geff said it the other day, and my dad was like, oh, I've never heard you say that word before. That's the whole thing. And Geff just turned around, he's like, You say it like eight times a day, so shut up. Your dad uses it. I was it. like, All right, he does. Go, go on, Geff. Wow. Get stuck in. He's becoming a powerful little lad. He's a powerful young man. How old is he now? 14. Yeah, 15 I need in to January. Step it up a little bit, though. Why would you want from him? With the women. I want, this. I want him to be a With ladies' man. With the women? Yeah, I want him to be a proper ladies' man. Why? Just be like a little protege. We can live life through him. You can live it through me. We just told <laughs> you're asexual. So. <laughs> I didn't. It's true. I put words in you your mouth. You put words in my mouth. That's not the only thing that's going in your mouth. Am I right? Hey. But yes, met a younger lady. Oh, you did, didn't you? On uh, Friday. Was it mm. Friday? Friday. He likes a fiddle with a kiddle. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was... See, I think... I feel like she said 20, but she, it turned out she was 19. Okay. that's That's fine. It's alright. It's alright. I'm gonna marry her. It's fine. Unless you're listening. Then I am gonna marry you. Because <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, did you tell her to, to sign up to the ante? Do you know what? I actually didn't. Good. That that would ruin your chance of getting anywhere with her. <laughs> yeah, you should I find out everything that's wrong with I'd me. Keep her away from this as long as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I tell a lot of girls to go on there. Like when I'm out, mm. if I'm talking to a random person, it's fine because no one will. So it's you, a good shout. Well, actually, we've got two Thai listeners, Jordan. Both true. You didn't meet them out though. You no, met them but on Tinder. They're, they're uh, subscribers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. I give you that. Yeah. So fuck you. Who you bring into the party? No huh? one. All eight subscribers are mine. We were hard. told we were told not to. We're not promoting until Christmas. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> that's what I heard from A and R. A and R. Do you mean P R? What's A and R? I mean A and R, isn't it? But PR as well. What's A and R? Don't worry, isn't it? If well, you don't no, know, what's A and R? Yes, if you don't know. First isn't Bella it? of the show. No, don't Google A and R. Yeah, oh, I God, will. Am I rebelling? I will. I will because I know what it is. I just need to back up here. I don't want to say it until I. Oh, so you're not confident. Here. You're not confident. Artists and repertoire so is the division of a record label or music publishing. Well, we don't do music. 
Yeah, but we might do. We are artists, though, let's be real. And it's responsible for talent scouting and overseeing the artistic development. Tick. Yep, you're right, the AR department. A and R. I call it the AR. I'm an <laughs> artist, mate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 25th. Christmas episode we release. Y- y- really? Mm. Um, Do you celebrate Christmas? If by Christmas you mean the day that that snake died, then no. I thought you loved or Jesus. Or the day he was born, whatever it is. I thought you loved Christmas Jesus. the day he was born, yeah? Um, I think it was, yeah. Yeah, the birth of Christ. Mm. Christ. I'd man. break some bread for, for, for Jesus. 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 We I celebrate him. Gabriel Jesus. Right. Yeah, we should call him Zezu. What's the, uh, Jesus' real name in Portuguese? They say, I've forgotten how you said that, but it's something like Zeus. Yeah, Zezu. They say it with Z. Hey, Zezu. No, not Zezu. Zeus. 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 Um, Zeus. He's a naughty little bugger, that lad. Mm. He scored got, again. He's got like a cartoon face. He's something got a about FIFA him. face. That's why he looks perfect on FIFA. He does. Because he looks like an yeah. animation. He does, yeah. He's a beautiful It's really man. weird. He's a good looking I don't guy. know if he's d- yeah, he's a bit he's, he looks he just looks like a sort of funny cartoon. Do you know what he looks like? He looks big like, eyes. He looks like someone you would you know when you like start a game, you've got to design your guy that you play with on a game. Yeah. He looks like someone you would design for like a jokes, little like cool little character. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember you had that team on FIFA that you made where um you designed <laughs> all the players? And there was that huge guy with the white afro. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then the little mini guy. And then the little guy with the blue afro. Yeah. Oh, classic. Okay, Steve Bennett was the little one. Can you still do that? Just make teams? Mm-hmm. And make them all 99? Yep. Why haven't we done that? Because it takes effort and... Yeah, it does, not it? No one ever plays with those things. They don't. No. So, what else is going on in the world, Thomas? Do you want me to hit us with some current yeah, events? Yeah, I'd like... I'd current like, yeah. events, they're currently happening. They're going on right now. They're current. knows. Like the title. Oh, did you see Planet uh, Blue Planet? I did. I watched Blue Planet last night. Talks for it. Can I just go on record as saying I don't find it that amazing? What, Blue Planet? What, the thing that looks like CGI cartoons but is in fact real life? Yeah, just don't do it for me like Planet Earth, man. I like land animals. There's too much of just like the ocean and shit floating. Not enough action. I want to get eaten. It's so beautiful. See, I knew we said this. We was like, Jordan will be it. This is exactly word for word what I said. I was like, if we were at Jordan's now, every two minutes, wow, that's beautiful, man. That's amazing. I can't handle it. What do you mean? Just look at it. It's like ridiculous. Like those floating whales for like 40 minutes. What do you Move. Mean 40 Get the camera going. Go poke it, man. Or throw something in there that they can eat. God, I want to go live in the sea with all those <laughs> silent animals. <laughs> Get away from you, the white man who just feels <laughs> the need to constantly talk. You know what it is? <laughs> you, you talk to confirm your existence. It's like yes. if people. It's like if you stop talking, suddenly you think, "Do I exist?" That's what I think about my dad. I said that to him the other day. We were sat. We were sat on the way going to the Arsenal game. He's he, he a big going, talker, though. Your oh, dad? He won't shut up. Really? And I was holding my head, yeah, and he was going, "Why are you holding your head?" And I was going, "Because I haven't said a word for twenty-five minutes, yeah, but you've kept talking as Weirdly, if I'm having a conversation with you." I noticed today when me and him were talking, you weren't talking. Yeah, because I thought that just, at one point. He continues to speak. We're a couple of jibber jabbers. I can't handle it. I, I'm I'm starting to, to have enough of the world. To be fair, everyone just talks all the time. They're always saying things. Conversing is nice. I like conversing. <sighs> conversing. What do you want? Just uh, silence. <laughs> just no one says it. Just God. There's too much. There's not enough silence. <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> Talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's the white man. The white man does love to talk. He does. He does I'd like to, to go to like a fucking... Why don't you become a fucking monk? Mm. Mm. You're going bald mm. anyway, so you wouldn't have to wait too long. <laughs> 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 when you go bald, that's what you should do. <laughs> just shave the rest of it off and just become a Fuck monk. Fuck it. Yeah, why uh, not? No, uh, I am a Krishna, Hare Krishna. How am I grazing? That's what I do. Someone uh, said they got better. I'm not seeing much right yeah. now. Someone said it's got better. I think it's just the light. Damn it. No, normally light brings it out, actually. Yeah, but I'm saying I think the light that we're under now isn't bringing it out, all right? Mm. That's what I'm saying. Can I carry this light around with me? <laughs> we do have a nice spotlight in here. This would be well filmed, but it yeah, wouldn't. Yeah, well, I've many a time said on this podcast, it's, I feel like I'm sitting in a gay... It doesn't have to be gay. It could just be a porn studio, but I'm going to go with gay porn studio. It makes sense. Mm. Do you know about here. five minutes ago we said we were going to do current events? Yeah, I mean, it, I would have appreciated it if you actually did it. 
Sorry. Right, let me... Because I'm steering this week's ship. That's what I like to hear. La, 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 la. All right, number one. Mm. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. This is my question to you. Because we did talk about London, but this was my question to you. We talked about what? The London Derby. Oh, right, yeah. Do you think, after Saturday's win, I think I know your answer, <laughs> Wenger deserves more time or more patience from his uh, Wenger out brigade? Say that again. Do you think after the win over Spurs yeah. that the, the Wenger out brigade should uh, cool off from him for no. a bit? So that does that win? Has that win it done was, anything? It was you, you and my dad are talking about it today was annoying me as well. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I think we should. We should. Suddenly, all the plans change. <laughs> you know what I mean? We've gone. We've we've been through twelve years of fucking shit. Yeah, one half decent result. Suddenly, everyone's like, you know what? I, I think we should hold on to what we've got because we can make it work at the end of the season. Offer a bunch of new contracts. Before you know it, we got a great squad next year. We win the league. We did have a conversation before Insane. the game about how we should 100% sell Ozo and Sanchez yep. and, then, and then both agreed that we should keep them. Yep. <laughs> yep. I don't understand it. I don't understand how you guys can change your mind. That I don't understand how you can still to and fro so easily it's based football, on man. one Football's a very fickle result. game and I'm a fickle fan. I hate that man. See, I have to be real, yeah. He does frustrate me, but you have to admit I've been semi venger in and also out. Like I've never just been he should 100% go out. Except for when, except for like a day after we lose. Yeah, I'm fickle. <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm a terrible fan. I mean, I, I I don't I don't I yeah I don't understand how we can we can have that discussion. I think it's whatever happens, he's still got to go. Should he win the league and the Champions League? He's still got to go. Really? Yeah. If he won the league this year, you would sack him. Hell no. He's still got to go. It's oh. enough. Enough's enough. It's time to go. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, he's not going to win the fucking league, no. right? So Zero percent chance. So I shouldn't even bring that into equation. Yeah, I'm just saying that if he was to win something, it would be so weirdly. What if he won the FA like, Cup and the UEFA Cup, like Mourinho, and came fifth? So same season that Mourinho had at United, or sixth. So he came sixth, but we won the UEFA Cup, we won the FA Cup, and we qualified for the Champions League. Would you say that was a successful season? Uh, yeah, I'd say it was a decent season, but I'd still say get rid of him. Uh. I've had enough. I don't care. I mean, what, what, what's the worst that can happen? We have five, six years of just You must have loved Saturday, though. Saturday, I, it looked fine, man. I, I wish I was, I was jealous, so I wasn't. I love that. Saturday because the biggest thing I have in football right now is hating Spurs. Mm-hmm. Right? So... yeah. You know, I've become a Tottenham fan technically because my my entire seasons the rests on how badly my nemesis does. I still feel like they're 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 a way off winning anything. Oh, they are. Not like everyone feels like talking, shit. I mean, they did fucking outplay Real Madrid, so I get I get the hype, but at the same time, they're still missing it. They're they're not like they're miles off Man City as well, man. Miles off Man City, they are, without Kane performing, they without are half Kane, the yeah. side. Oh, massively. You know what I mean? And then They're you, very reliant on Kane. Yeah. Rente does nothing. When he yeah, I mean, anything. Ali and Ericsson are quality, but if Kane ain't playing well, then they ain't playing well. See, like, they are quality, but would Ericsson get in Man City's team? Mm, don't know. Did you see his goals for Denmark yet? No. Oh, beautiful. I, I wouldn't take him over a De Bruyne. Three bangers. Um, no, I wouldn't take him over De Bruyne. I would take him over. A David I'd probably, Silver I'd either. probably take him over David Silver. Really? I'd say David Silver's a bit past it now. He's still, he's he's solid. He's a bit like a Cazorla. I say that even though I haven't seen Cazorla play in two years, and he yeah, nearly, he nearly had his I, leg amputated the other I, day. I think he's a different level to Cazorla. I, I rate Silver, man. I think he's a quality player. Yeah, he is quality, but I think he's on his last legs. <laughs> yeah. See, Eric, Eric says I get like people will say this, but I, I, he's another guy I'm not a hundred percent sold on, man. When I watch Ericsson play, like there's plenty of times I've seen Ericsson have been that impressed with him. I know he's a good player, he's got a hat trick, but I'm not that mate. Like I don't think he's a world class player. Mm, you know what I mean? Depends. Do you think Ali's world class? Uh, no. Okay, that's good. I'd say Ericsson's definitely better than Ali though. 
Yeah, I, so I would, I, would say, I would say he's better than Ali as well. I would, but then I would again, kind of say that Ericsson is... Not kind of. I would definitely say Ericsson's better than Ozil. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you don't rate Ozil. I rate people who deserve to be rated. I, I rate Ozil, so I, I, I would personally rather have Ozil than Ericsson. You would rather have Ozil than mm-hmm. Wow, you heard it here. Breaking news. Someone in this planet. Did you watch the game Ozil on Saturday? Yeah, I watched. Well, because he made one run back and tackled Harry someone. Harry Kane's still missing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> He's not in Ozil's pocket, mate. <laughs> He's in Mustafi's pocket. Ozil's frustra- pocket. Do you know why you're frustrated when you watch Ozil play? Go on, yeah, go and tell me. Because you know how good he is. <laughs> That's why it's frustrating. You wouldn't be frustrated if he what if you didn't know how good he could be. Guaranteed. That's why people get frustrated. I'm frustrated because we paid 40 million for him because he wants 350 grand a week. Rightfully so. Uh, <laughs> I'd give him 200 grand a week. Uh, 350 is ridiculous. I'd, I'd give him 200 a week. 200 a week. Fucking Theo's on like 140, man. Theo shouldn't be on 140. <laughs> Theo should be yeah, should be on on like a four book contract with <laughs> Kids Are Us, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the guy like but if the club is willing to pay Theo 140, they should be willing to pay Ozil 250. And they will. They won't pay him 350, I don't think. No. Does, is that, who says this, though? He, he's never quite said, I, I want 350. I don't know. It's, you know all mean? it's all pre- bollocks. The world is polluted by media. We've just got information that's <laughs> false like coming can, in left, right, and centre. I feel like your favourite is to go from a topic of football to a topic of, like, the world really extreme. Fucked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because I feel everything can be equated to how fucked the world is. All right, we're moving on from the fucked world and Arsenal to Tony Pulis. But wait, wait, what was it? The, the don't, question don't was skip. still. Wenger, um, is, does Wenger, does the Wenger out brigade, should they chill out after No. The you said no. What do you say, though? Because I feel like you're saying yes. And that makes <laughs> me want to continue to talk a bit about this. I <laughs> think. I beat that out of you. I think that they should. Um, cool off. I Ooh, think we, give him a chance, guys. He's done so well. Leave him alone. Uh. <laughs> um, what do I think? I don't know, man. I need another Wenger out of here to gang up on you with. I think that he's there's promising signs. Promising. That's what I'll say. There's promising signs, guys. <laughs> guys, he's looking. He, he looks good. He's showing potential. Just let wait till we lose to Burnley next Saturday, and then I'll be on the bad back on with you. No, but see, but that's what I can't handle. I can't handle. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's this what. Is, this is yeah. what frustrates me. Because next week I'll suddenly be, you'll you'll be saying this, and I'll be going, yeah, but you're going to say the opposite next week if we fucking beat someone, aren't you? Oh, Anyone? Yeah. Oh, if we yeah. beat fucking Star Bucharest, as soon as we qualify from our Europa League group, I'm going to be back on his dick, man. We have qualified from the Europa League. Yeah, I want to win that group. I'll, I'll make it. We we will more than likely win that group. We'll go and have a great achievement. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Jack getting a game on Saturday. I would have liked to see Jack. I would have liked to see him out. I got to say, one of the biggest cheers of the day was for him warming up. He's a popular kid. He is. His contract is going under the carpet because of Ozil and Sanchez. Mm-hmm. He still doesn't have a contract. Yeah, but he kind of wants to leave from what I hear in January because he wants to make it into the England squad for uh, World Cup and he ain't going to do that staying at us for the next half Isn't of the he season. Isn't he though? He is better than Ramsey. So? He should be playing over Ramsey. Yeah, but Wenger... Loves Ramsey. Wenger loves Ramsey. Mm. The man who fell over at least 45 times on Saturday. <laughs> Just <laughs> fell over. He, he swapped me, the boots he and then me, fell over. He reminds me of Sonogo. Five where minutes He could still look shit while having a good game. Like he could that score means he didn't shit. have a good game. No, it means he had a good game, man. You can't say Ramsey now. Everyone had a good game. From 1 to 11, mate, we had a good game. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Spurs had a shit game. Yeah. We, what, didn't, what? we weren't that good. No, no, we were good, man. We were good. We played well. What we needed to happen to win that game happened. They had to be below par and we had to play above par. And that happened. That's why we won the game. Mm. And Wenger. Great mm. tactics. Mm. Great team selection. Mm. I like prodding the bear. That's what I do. If I poke the How bear. many chances did we make? A lot. Did we? Yeah. Hell yeah. What did we miss? We could have scored four or five. Could we? Yeah. Sanchez was clean through on goal. He missed. Um, Ramsey had a good chance. A shot that went wide. Uh, could have been four or five now. 
Sanchez missed a one on one. Do you know what I love? Randy had a shot that went wide. Do you know what was right by <laughs> you where he uh, the ball rolled out and he did the dive? That was great. Oh, I like that. I, I really him. enjoyed that. Yeah. He really hurt himself doing that. Did though. he? Yeah, he like smashed his chin and then he was going like this for ages, like rubbing his face for ages. I like he, he I hurt love himself him. doing He's that. the closest thing to me loving an Arsenal player at the yeah. moment. No, there's none of us that I really love, like, apart from him. Uh, I like yeah, Jack. Actually, as well, I got he's like, And I like Kalasnat. And well. uh Nectia. Who? Nikita. Who the fuck? What, a young guy? The guy who, bangs at, who won us Ugh. the League Cup game with his two... Ugh. Bro, he's touched the ball twice for Arsenal and bang goals. Ugh. 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 See, this guy, still uh, still believing in Wenger, yeah? <laughs> but these fucking 17-year-olds banging goals, nah. Got turfed by Chelsea, mate. When he was like 13, bro. Well, big enough. Too small. <laughs> what do you think of old Tony getting the sack? Old Mr. Dogs Pulis. Cock. Mr. Pulis. He's got his little Do you know when you pay, like, you know, no... You, I, would, I would pay to ske- have someone skank him just to Why? see that little dog's cock that he's packing. Why has he got a dog cock? Me and my dad just... just <laughs> We can almost guarantee it. There is there is a dog's little lipstick cock <laughs> in those trousers. Why do dog's dicks do that? They're just little lipsticks. But well, imagine that's how we did. Like, that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I feel sick. <laughs> Um, I Pulis fucking yeah. He's one of the clubs where like I thought he was doing well. I thought they were like seventh. No, you just pay no attention no. to them. I'm sure well, after like four games they were like seventh. They was like at one point just outside the eighth. I thought he was doing well. He's one of them managers who's always. I mean, he's just the same. It's all the same. I can I can imagine it being real headache having him at your club. It's just boring. Michael Owen said that's boring, why he retired. Boring, boring. He said his training sessions were so boring. That's why I retired from football. Mm-hmm. And apparently, told him as well. He goes, "Yeah, look, you, you, I, it was mind numbing." I'm not surprised. Makes sense to me. Mm. He's a boring m- manager. Who do you think they'll get? Big Sam. <laughs> Is he out of work at the moment? Yeah, he left Palace, isn't he? God, I'd love to see a Big Sam, Little Sam reunion. I bet you would, mate. Me and Rai Rai. You and Rai. Um, I was very surprised at fucking um, Coleman, man. Yeah. Taking the sun job. I was reading all the comments and people were like, oh, like, a lot of people are like, oh, what an idiot. And then a lot of people are like, oh, fair play, man. He actually took a challenge on that. Like, mm-hmm. Well, you know, he's been at, how long has he been at Wales now? Like five? He took over from Speed, didn't he? Gary Speed killed himself yeah. and then he took over. Was that like five years ago, six years ago? <sighs> Something like that. Something like that. You weren't too bad with them. They had a good Euros. They had great Euros. Mm-hmm. Didn't qualify That's for the World Cup on. though, man. He was always going to leave. As soon as he didn't qualify for the yeah, World yeah, Cup, he was yeah. always gone. No, it's a fair decision, isn't it? But they wanted him to stay, apparently, and he left. Yeah, I'm not surprised because he's been good for them. Well, plus, it's like, if you think about it from his point of view, yeah, you get to the semis of the Euros, you're always going to stay on, right? Miss the World Cup, so it's now a two-year wait till the Euros, of which to make any improvement, you'd have to get to the final. Mm-hmm. Probably not going to happen. Like, no guarantee you're even going to qualify. So it's like... It was a wise decision, I think. I had I to mean, leave. I should yeah, get some challenge, man. Something like, to do. Even like your dad was saying, like, the West Brom job's open now. He could have been in the running for that. Everton mm-hmm. job. He could have put his name for it. Like, he's, he, he there was a lot of hype around put him. his hat in the West Ham ring. No, nah, that's Moisey's job, mate. Once <laughs> Moisey goes in for a job, it's fucking his, all right? It's curtains. Six-month deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's the owner saying that we have. All. That's the owner saying we have no faith in your. No, opinion. we're giving you six months here to just prove to us you're not shit. There's this. Do you know what? I'm never normally a hater, yeah, but there's something about him I enjoy watching him fail. <laughs> 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 just every week on a match a day, just he's, like excuse after excuse of just shit. Like he's just always got yeah. a reason. That man's got to be massively stressed in his life. And why are his eyes always so wide open? Like this is how he looks. Like he's like. Like, what is that about? Because he's wide-eyed and bushy-tailed. He is wide-eyed and bushy-tailed. Um, worked out well for you, though, the whole uh, uh, Rich Arlison. Oh, one, did you it? see that? <laughs> I had him in my team as well. But not captain. Who was your captain? captain. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Ooh. Jesus. How did your team do this week? Not too bad, you know? Yeah. Not too bad. I think I had a good week, man. You had a half decent week. Hazard got me 18. He got two goals. Oh, if, if only I made fucking Hazard. See, that is when you can change a, uh, a whole season. Say if I'd have just decided randomly Hazard triple captain. Yeah. That's when, boom, all of a sudden you're laughing. 
Yeah. I'd have had another 40 imagine points. Imagine you triple cut and yeah. hazard that there. Exactly. That would have been very naughty. I mean, I never would. He's never even my captain, but still. Um, I'll say this. You were the highest achiever this this uh, this week. How many points did I get? 54. Second with George with 53. And I was third with 44. I just like gaining on you. It would be embarrassing if I lose to you because you started, was it, two weeks ago? Which late? means I am now... 28 points behind Ryan and 38 points behind you. You've done well, man. No, not too bad. In fact, you haven't done that well. Because say you had two extra weeks, you'd probably have like another like 70 points. 70, man. We'd have 100 points, yeah. I'll be (laughs) on 608 and I'll be third, all right? Yeah, so you're not doing that great. You're done all right. You're doing it. You're doing it. Um, Next current event. Next current event. What is it? What is it? What is it? Let's have a look, mate. Let's have a play. This cracked me up. I told you this before we started. So last year, more than half of the Black Friday deals were cheaper or the same price at another stage in the year. I can't believe that. But do I know, can. The only reason I can believe it is when I was like, before we went traveling, so I was like 17, I was working at Brain mm. Cross. There was like the sales, like the Christmas sales. Yeah. And we did, I was, there was this shoe. I, I used to have to make the labels. So you'd get like a stencil and you'd write in like 35 pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they had to like look a certain way. And I remember saying to like, I, you used to scan the shoe and it would tell you all the information, like what price you'd be. And for some reason, it wasn't working. And uh, Right. So I'll never get it. It was £35. Pounds and I said to him, oh, how much was this shoe? I, the, the computer won't say. And he goes, oh, just say it was 70 And then yeah. it twigged for me. I was like, I go into these shops thinking, oh, this is a great deal. They're probably just half as made up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And also, apparently, what they do is they'll raise the prices before Black Friday and then drop them down to just what they were two months ago. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yep. Do you know what? I never go, do you? I, I never get that carried away with this kind of I thing. I did once, one Black Friday, I remember just buying loads of I think I remember shit. you doing it. See, I've been thinking about doing it for like my supplements and stuff, getting it all like sorted. Is it going to be a big difference on that shit? I mean, I guess so. Everyone does it now, I don't know. Like, Fair. Uh. But It's just become this fucking fake day where, they, where the shops have manifested this like four day period where they know everyone's going to go shopping. Well, that's what I was going to say to you. It's not well, two billion, they reckon. It's like spend. another Christmas. Yeah. Well, there's a reason they do it just before Christmas. Mm. But um, what was I going to say? I can't remember now. Something about shops. <laughs> no. It's gone. Well, breaking news there. <laughs> 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 no, but it just interested me because I was like, it's, it's bec- like, oh, that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, go on, Phil. It's not even a day anymore. Amazon, they have Black Friday week. It started today. Yeah, that's why I thought it was on FIFA already, but it's not. Yeah, it's like FIFA, a week now. I think FIFA just have a day. No. Really? Mm. I thought they have like four days. I think they go from the 26th to like the 30th. What, FIFA? Yeah. Um, Maybe. Why do you think that? Because I think I searched it up yesterday. But I can't remember. Well, either you did or you didn't. Did well, you? I did, but as in my memory's so bad, I can't remember what I saw when I searched out. Oh yesterday. right, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Are you gonna um, treat your little bro to some uh, FIFA points? Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. What's gonna be your strategy? You going for the big pack, a few big packs, or um, loads of little packs? I think a few big packs. A mixture of each. Maybe like buy like two. I'm of thinking the, two bigs and like five and little. The rest littles. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Mm. What it's only fair. Yeah. But I said to him at the start of the game, you really should buy packs now and then never buy them again. Why? Because it's like the best packs you're ever going to be able to buy. Oh, what, in, in Black Friday? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you yeah, get yeah. someone good, happy days, no mm-hmm. need to buy a pack. If you don't, it's boyed me. The shit packs probably aren't going to give me anyone. So Don't buy it anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Really and truly, once you buy packs and have a decent team, you don't need to buy anybody. Like, what is the point of me buying packs now? Zero. Really? Zero. Like, need. for Black Friday, there's a need because I can get up to the legends, mm. but there's no point in me buying those shitty packs. Zero point. No. Because even if I get a 100k player, which is so rare, it's not going to make a difference. Who, um, how how much are the uh, the Black Friday packs? Depends. The the packs that everyone wants, it's not even a guarantee they'll release these packs. They just did last year at 125,000 packs. Yeah. Uh, I think they were 2,500 FIFA points each. Sounds quite expensive. Yeah, they're like £20 a pack. But you get 30 rare players in them. 
You got what? Thirty rare gold players. Thirty. Uh huh. That's quite nice. So you could actually have a whole team in one pack. Pretty sure it's thirty. Now I'm thinking that does sound too too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's it's thirty. It sounds pretty damn nice. Mm-hmm. You're basically guaranteed borders because everyone in there's a rare. You're gonna have someone above eighty four or not. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, I mean, I don't really want to be spending any more than like sixty quid there. Yeah, well, you can buy twelve thousand for eighty quid. Mm. 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 Or you can probably or see this is what they do to fuck you. But you can do it just like this way. But it goes from thirty two ninety nine to seventy nine ninety nine. But you can just do a thirty two thirty nine. They got a lot of cheaper ones now, though, don't they? Because there's like the seventy p one, you put a pound two on, pound you know? ones. What's the point? It's by one pack. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Some poor just soul tied out there. You just, over. There's a poor soul out there. Just it's hustling. just for those people itching. For just, just like, I need dumb. another pack, man. You mean me? <laughs> oh, man. I don't really need another pack. I want to know how much I've spent this year. I'd say over £400. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> I'd say probably about 500 500 mm. Wow. That's big. It's a lot of... That's an expensive FIFA. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and Black Friday hasn't come around yet. My brother goes to me this morning, can you take me to the bank? I was like, why? He goes, I want some, some money in my account for Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be shopping. He likes Black Friday, I think. He's a generous guy, man. When I was going out to um on Friday before I left. I was like, oh, I don't know. he's like, oh, where are you going? I was like, oh, Beaconsfield. He's like, you get in a hotel? I was like, yeah. He goes, how much you taking? I was like, 100 quid. He's like, is that all? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, here, take this, isn't it? Goes to give me 100 pounds. I was like, no, nah, I feel I can't take 100 pounds. Mm. I was like, just fucking take it. I was like, okay. All right, you've 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 twisted my arm. I must. So yeah, hook me up, man. You're just, you're weak. You're weak. I'm weak. You're weak. Throw, say no. Throw a few 20s at me and I'll just... I'll suck your dick. <laughs> the chick that I went football with the other day, who I, she had Pete's ticket, my my uncle Peter. Um, you went to what? What's that again? To the to the Spurs game. You went with a girl. No, well, I went with my dad and my uncle, but then my other uncle Pete um, shares his season ticket with this other lady, the blonde lady. Yeah. So. Uh, um. So she hey, had hey, say no more. So she had my the ticket I needed to get in, so I had to wait for her. But she was like ten minutes late. And then when she when we got great in, strategy, when we got strategy. in, she gave me like she she's like trying to stuff a fiver into my hand. She's going, go and just go buy yourself some sweets. I'm so sorry I was late. Yeah? <laughs> and I was like, what do you think I fucking am? Get so that's patronizing. I was like, get your fiver away <laughs> from me. Don't ever be late again. Go or I'll slap chili. your face. Oh, were you late going into the game? No, we weren't late. Late like we we were still there like ten minutes before kickoff. No, but, I thought so. Man. But sh- but I texted the day before going I'll meet you at quarter past and she was like oh that's a bit late I'll meet you at 12 and I was like alright fine what time's kick off half 12 yeah does uh, it, this and is then what she ended up you. being late anyway do you see any Spurs fans when you're there nah it's very well separated completely separated yeah, yeah. I was thinking about it, so they have a whole different part of the ground that like uh-huh. you never get to see as an Arsenal fan <laughs> not really well, gets well segregated make sure that we don't all fucking have a fucking tear up and that's why they do an early kick off apparently so there's not too much time to get smashed before the yeah. game they say in a lot of derbies you're going to get started showing at like 11 in the morning. Mm-hmm. But then them alcoholics will still be balls deep. Oh, like, yeah, In man. a white light. Oh, yeah, of yeah, yeah. course. Of course. See where your hand is on your jumper. From this angle, it looks like you have a huge erection. No, that bit in your jumper. Oh, there. Yeah, it looks like it's just poking up. Shaft and all. Next current event. That's where I was, I've was. i been tucking it. Pulis out. Unlucky, Tony. See you later, dog's cock. Black Friday. It's a scam. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'll be doing it, but don't do it. I want to get into my masseuse story. There we go. That's a current event. <laughs> but it's not really the time or place, is it? It's currently giving me an erection. I've got to stop talking about erections. <laughs> you really do. I really do. Really do. Calm myself down there. Please. It's getting all flustery. Ooh, good you Lord. do look red-faced and sweaty. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> yeah, so I... um. Went for an innocent massage. Oh, we are going there. Yeah. We're going down there. We're going down the. This route. is the safe tree, bro. It is the safe tree. This is the safe we tree. We shouldn't feel judged. There's branches of safety. So your mum might listen. So what? I'm a man. <laughs> and I have needs. <laughs> now no one can categorically say I took her up on her offer. 
That's just a rumor. Right, right. What I will right. divulge into. I like is, the way you're doing is this. Is the said story. Mm-hmm. Give uh, us, give us said story, Thomas. So I go in. I d- I've had been training. Mm. And I had and a bad, my back was a bit sore. <laughs> One needs a little bit of uh, downtime, a little relaxation. A little relaxation. Sure. Went for a massage. Oh. I've been to this place three times before. Mm-hmm. I've got to mm. say the massages have never been that great, but it's mm. cheap. It's like thirty. Pounds. But they found a new spot to massage. <laughs> so it was good. <laughs> <laughs> so I went in. Huh. Do you know what my first clue was? Huh. They never had any Chinese or Thai people in there, <laughs> and it was just flocked with them. <laughs> that was my first clue. What? That was the first alarm bell. Well, when I've been in there before, it's always been like Eastern European girls. Right. Now it's like all Thai and like, oh, happy ending. That was my first alarm bell. What, when you went in there this time? Suddenly went it was this time. Uh, suddenly they sacked all the other girls. Yeah. Mm. Mm. First alarm bell. Mm. Second alarm bell, old creepy Chinese pimp lady at the front desk. Mm. So alarm bell's already ringing. Mm. So I go down. She goes, I'll get changed. I leave my jeans on. Mm. She comes in. She's like, oh, you have jeans on. I was like, yeah, sorry. She's like, do you only want your top massaged? So I was like, and this is exactly what I went, oh, you tell me. Like, and she goes, oh, okay. And I was like, oh, cool. Like, so I'm thinking in my head, I was like, I just want my back done anyway. Yeah, like, yeah. My legs are like, oh, whatever. It's not like you've ever trained legs. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, he's still got it. Fucking <laughs> So then she starts like talking. And, this, and again, alarm was going off because like, she's talking to me throughout the massage. This is like the first five what minutes. What's she saying? He's feel good. <laughs> God, <laughs> stop like, it, Jordan. That so, was so, so wrong. Racist. Was so, so wrong. <laughs> hey, bro, that's racist. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, ants. Sorry to all our Thai ants out there. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> you know, forty percent of our market is Thai. Yeah? <laughs> and if you listen, girls, don't get any ideas. Yeah, you're not all happy ending me. Yeah. Also, if right. you feel the need to do like a Cockney geezer impression, I won't be offended. Partly because you're not a cockney. Oh, right, here we go. You think you This are. fucking bloke chatting shit to me like a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so she's like, oh, uh, have you been here before? And I'm like, my initial instinct in life is to lie. So I said no. Right. So I mean, if I was like, oh, no. I was like, oh, sorry, my friend recommended it to me. Don't have mm. a friend. Didn't recommend it. <laughs> Don't have a friend. Just lying for the sake of lying. And then she's like, oh, okay, okay. And I'm like, oh. She's like, do you live around here? I'm like, look, man. Just massage me. I'm man. not here for a chat, all right? Get those little midget hands deep into my crevice. <laughs> my crevice, I mean, arsehole. <laughs> and she's like, and then she just carries on. She's like, oh, yes, I live in like Baker. And I'm just like, fuck, man. Where's like, she living? Bakerloo? Baker Street. Oh, Baker Street, that's a bit of a mission for her. So now I can't relax, is it? What, now I'm up. Talking now talking. I'm up. Yeah, you've got my attention. Like, I'm not relaxed. Okay. Let's gone. have a chat. Let's chat. So I'm <laughs> going to chat now. So I'm like just chatting shit. And then she's like, I kind of got this vibe that she like was was like a prostitute. I don't mm. know why. I, just ha- I kept having it in the back of my mind. Mm. And then she was like, oh, did your friend tell you what we do here? And then I'm like, yeah, this is definitely it. Uh, but then I still it. didn't want to say open. it. And I laughed and I was like, no, he just, I, I still like, I knew, but I didn't want to say. Yeah. So I'm still like waiting. So I was like, oh no. Um, what I, said, I was like, oh no, but he said it's like a really good massage. And she kept like giggling. And I was like, why are you giggling? That's not funny. Like, why are you giggling? Because she knows you know. Yeah. <laughs> that was what it was. I was like, oh, you know that I know. You know. Hey man. <laughs> and, uh, so she's like, oh, we do a special happy ending here. And I was like, fucking knew it, man. I knew fucking it. knew it. And what was so hilarious is if my you friend- just got up there, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what's so silly to me? She goes, you want one? And then, but you know, your head's in like the massage thing. I had to like have a look. So I like got, I like wriggled out and had a look at her. And I was like, oh, is that what you do? <laughs> so I got check. But then what was so funny is my friend is in the other one. And I'm thinking, I wonder if his one is saying this to him as well. Yeah. And when we go out afterwards, he was like, I'm like listening into your one. Like, is he doing it? Is he doing it? And I was like, oh, okay. Like, and at first I got bare awkward. Yeah. I had like an awkward boner. Like, <laughs> awkward boner. That's so <laughs> interesting. Actually, yeah. And I was like, oh, and then do you know what else? This is the one thing that, that uh, where my spidey sense was going off. I thought that Dale might have like, like set it up. So like, what? Well, yeah, offer him, offer him a cheap Yeah, and then like, and I see yeah. how And then she's like, okay, go and get changed. And then like, oh, you lot, that's literally what's going on. And all you don't want to know, like, that is what went through my head. <laughs> that would have been an epic prank. 
Yeah, so no stress is alert. As much as I respect your profession and you're a human being, I'm going to decline your offer because I'm a respectful gentleman and we conducted the massages, as mm, said. Mm, as said. Mm. But yeah, Mary, I'll see you next Thursday. Uh, <laughs> warm up Noel's hand. <laughs> That's what she, she goes, she go, she go, she go, most Chinese women you've ever seen. I've got nothing against Chinese people, by the way. I love Chinese people. But she yeah. just goes, uh, come in and ask for Mary. <laughs> I was like, well, your name's not Mary, is it? <laughs> like, come on, man. Yeah, it's funny. God, I can't believe what the world's coming to. But yeah, man, you can just go and get jacked off for like 20 quid these days. Do they offer mouth services? Yes, they do. I mean, did I ask what was on the menu? Yes. You I did. did? I'm only human. What was yes. on the menu? So she said, and I didn't know what this is, and I still don't know what this is. Any of our listeners know what this is, hook me up. So yeah, leave a comment, you know, because we haven't had a fucking comment yet, so it'd be nice if someone could fuck. Yeah. Sorry. God, sorry. Go, go, go sorry off don't go off on there. Yeah, sorry, Ants. I'm in a bad place. <laughs> <laughs> So she's like, so oh, uh, this is, she called it a body. But then I asked her what it was, and she giggled. So she goes, oh, I give you a body to body massage, forty pounds. And I was like, oh, what does that mean? And she goes, <laughs> but never answered. Body to body. So I'm thinking, like, is that just straight up poundage, or is that like I get oiled up with you, or what? She just oils herself up and does nothing. I don't know. It must be it, that must be the quarter pounder. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get this language from? <laughs> Fuck it, no. I'm going to apologise. The big question: How much cheese is in that pounder? <laughs> <laughs> and by cheese, I mean dick. And by dick, I mean my dick. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot of cheese in this pound. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what? She looked like so innocent as well. Like if you walk past her on the street, you think she was like a librarian. Wow. But little do you know, she's an experienced cock handler. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mary, if you're listening. Mary, subscribe, like, share. Yeah. <laughs> God, we've become light cause. Light cause. I was checking out the videos. The the first like four videos did better. I think it takes time for like random clicks. Oh, do you yeah. think these people just click on it like, what the fuck is this? Maybe. 100%. Mm. It's YouTube. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I don't really surf YouTube. So I don't know how I people do. do. I, I mean, I do, but I sort of know what I'm clicking on. You know what I mean? I'm not clicking on something bare random like this. See, I do. I love really? that YouTube nights where you just end up watching like an Indian zookeeper get attacked by a wild elephant and shit. I always go down that route. Yeah, but how often do you click on something that has no video and just audio? Well, you wouldn't know that until you click on it. True. Okay. All right. All right. <sighs> Didn't I think I've over on our page had 80 views? Don't know. Don't know. This is jo- this is Jordan's enthusiasm to grow this podcast. Didn't know we do. Don't know. Did it? Look, now I finish uni, I'm growing this thing. Growing. All it. I can be is myself. All right. <laughs> and if I hate That's myself, I hate everything you else. You can be the best version of yourself. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh by the way yeah as you, when you say that so I was looking last night so I went on I randomly clicked on a video it was like episode 5 I think mm. it was so fucking funny what, bro. our episode yeah our Gosh, episode. we're so funny no so, so oh. I just clicked <laughs> <laughs> oh. no I clicked on a random bit yeah. and it just happened to be me just playing Dale's Advocate and you just switching at me <laughs> it was about um, I think you were talking about one of your uni friends and you were saying how like you'd love to live in the countryside mm, and like I, I, was, I, and I was like, I was like what can you do there though? and you like go quad biking and then I go I'm just everything you say I'm challenging I'm like well you can quad bike here and then you just go fucking can you like and just get so angry <laughs> and then from, you go from zero to and you're just so mad at me and then just, the next five minutes are just like you just like I could feel your anger towards me. it was so funny man I was cracking up we need to get we need to, to time it on those days where I'm menstrual Mm. I think it makes for better viewing because right now I'm quite subdued. Don't care about life. You're an emotional roller coaster, by the way. I am. Aren't I? Like I feel like you have um, bipolar. No, you have like an array of very extreme moods. Mm. Like for each podcast, so sometimes you're like really happy, sometimes you're really motivated. I'm stopping burning, guys. Then you're just like oh, whatever. Then mm-hmm. you're like, do you know what I mean? You have like you're yeah. very uh, all over the place. Yeah, yeah, very wavy. Some would say mentally unstable. Rather undulated. 
Undulated. I am. I'm an undulated human. I feel like I'm more of a, a consistent, anxious you, you, cucumber. You, you, you offer us consistency, stability. If I'm anything, I'm consistent. <laughs> oh, talking about the, the panic attack I had on the way home. Holy fuck. From where? Oh, from from your night out, weekend, oh, your weekend. Wow. Out. So I wake up with like two hours sleep and just like exhausted. Must still have been, yeah, go on. Must have. No, 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 go on. I was going to say, must have been smashed driving home. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Goes without saying. Bust a couple of ibuprofen, but I'm just like, oh my God, like I couldn't breathe. And I'm thinking, am I having I a heart panic. attack? And there's a thing in your head where it's like, you know, it's just anxiety, but there's that voice saying, no, you're having a heart attack. No, this is real. So I'm driving home. I'm like, whew, like trying to get breaths in. I'm opening windows, even though it's raining. I was in a bad way, man. Like, and do you know me? I hate being away when I feel like that. There's something about it that freaks me out. Did you drive back on your own? Uh, no, with Connor. Oh, okay. That's good. But he doesn't help because he gets it as well. So he's not that calming voice I need. He's like <laughs> freaking out next to me. Like, Did you all leave at the same time? No, I just shot out with Connor. Oh, is it? Well, I said bye to Cap because even I remember Ryan and Will were like, I think Ryan and Will might have gone back to sleep. Mm, fair. Not too sure. But yeah, man, I enjoyed it, man. It was good. It's nice to like do different. So it's nice to go different places as well. Yeah, see, I, feel, I mean, I, I'm sure I'd have enjoyed it, but oh, I'm you'd not have really had a great that night. sort of person. You'd, yeah, but neither am I. Yeah. You just got to put yourself there. Once you're there, you you're there. Don't so you tell me what it. to do. I need you to fucking tone it down. <laughs> All right. Um, How was your night with your uncle? It was good. It was nice. Good to see the old Anki. Yeah. Yeah. Anki. What do you call him? No, I right. call him Johnny. His name Johnny. Jonathan. I was gonna say way more. Is Jonathan. Really is that how he talks? Jonathan. Yeah, he's well, he's got a similar voice to me. I think. Poor sod. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, no, it's quite nice seeing him. He just came back from a neuroscience convention in Washington. Jesus Christ. Did uh, you talk to him about this? Thing? He gave us his speech. He gave us his uh, lecture. That he had a big poster. Really awkward. He stuck it on the back door. Was it uncomfortable? No, it's quite good. It was it was really really None of us understood what he was talking about because yeah. it was all like super sciencey. But it was good. I was one of them guys. I'm joking. He sounds like an interesting they, guy. They uh, they proved something about mice. Well, to be fair brain, to him, it must be frustrating because he's he's obviously dedicated to what he, to oh, yeah. to research. Yeah. But then, like, when he tries to, and he's like passionate about it. So when he's trying to like convey that passion to someone else, they have no clue what he's talking about. No, he, you you lose him after 20 seconds because he uses like four but words. But his speech that never to heard. other scientists. Yeah. So it's good. All right. So yeah. I guess otherwise he's not doing a good job if it's supposed to be for like the average. No, person. no, no. It was the biggest. Neu- There's like forty thousand neuroscientists there. Right. And they and they just all chat to each other and shit. They just laugh at us. Yeah. At the fools. Ads. He'd hear our podcast and just be like, God, I can feel Ugh. myself getting more stupid. Yeah. That is what we do to people. Though. I could be reading science right now. Say I'm listening to this. Ted talk about erections yeah all you ants out there go go do something more productive with your time yeah what are you doing what are you doing are you actually listening to this are shit are you here <laughs> hello. hello 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 yeah do you know what else happened last night what happened last night not last night Friday night Friday night there was one point I was like talking to, how can I say this without sounding really like crude I'm gonna need you to think about it for a moment filter out the crudeness it just sounds so cunty when you say it. Let me try and word this correctly. I like cunty. So I was talking with this young lady. Okay. Um, we shared a kiss. Ooh. Naughty. Tongue? <laughs> Tongue? <laughs> French? <laughs> <laughs> Any biting of the lip? <laughs> <laughs> no. But... <laughs> I'm about to unromance stories. So my eyes were obviously closed, and there's one point. Oh, eyes closed, job, yeah. There was one point where I was so drunk. <laughs> I was so drunk. I was so dizzy, <laughs> and I was really aware of the fact that I was about to fall over while lifting. Yeah? Yes, yeah, so I said, and I was like, it was "Whoa!" And it's like, oh my eyes just and stop. But then, like, she would like keep trying to carry on, and I was like, "Look, I'm gonna pass the fuck out." I was so stupidly. I, I don't think I've been like that since I was like 20, mm, mm. and I won't get like that again. Probably for, for a while. For a while, yeah. yeah. I don't need to, man. I have just as good a time if I have half that amount. I drink. hear you. I hear you. I don't need that shit, man. Don't need. I need some, to be in control. Some guys need that to have like confidence, talk to people, have a good night. I don't feel like I need that. I I maybe need it to find people interesting. 
because everyone is boring. <laughs> And I hate them. <laughs> and I find myself v- being very bored of most conversations after about 30 seconds. What about me, bro? No, it's all right. It's good. This is good. Don't Look, we're sitting here for... Don't fucking... We sit here for a fucking... Don't humour me now. At least, at least an hour. That was aimed at me. That was aimed at me. That was aimed at me. Fucking arsehole. I was saying this exact same thing after work the other day to some other guy. And he was like... Same thing. He was like, "What? So you think I'm boring?" And I'm like, "Bruv, we've just been talking for an hour, innit? Take the hint, innit? I'm not a guy who throws out compliments because we all, understand. for some weird reason, crave your love. I know. I don't. Everyone does. It. I don't know why. It's because you don't give it. Because I don't challenge. give it. It's a challenge. Well, it's like you said back in the day. You said with your dad when he'd be like, "Um, oh, you're like really talented. You're really great. You're really great." It makes you think like, "Yeah," because you always say it. I'm not. Yeah. It's the same thing because mm-hmm. you never say it. Everyone wants that affection. Yeah, they want it so badly. They crave it. That and guy you, in the park. And you love it as well. You just have that power. That's right. I love big. to be loved. You do. You do. But I hate it. Line up. I want them to the line up with curve. their hands out and beg. <laughs> that was a great line. In front of his Rolls Royce, just... <laughs> great line. Yeah. I finally warmed up now, by the way. Oh, yeah? You warm? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bro, I'm pretty I th- warm. I thought I was fucking going to... Fr- Your house is it's so cold. We don't turn the heating on for just for some muggle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I am to you. Isn't it? Some mud blood walks into the front room. <laughs> I need one of these little heaters in my life. They're not bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. I would take it to bed with me and love it like my woman. Well, I feel like if you cover this bit, it would be a major fire hazard. <laughs> 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 um, have we got any other? Um, that was it for my current events. Current events. I thought they were pretty good. Oh, what about the the, the serial quite, killer guy who they died? Were, they were quite sports centric out of current events this week. Well, Black Friday. Oh yeah, we had Black Friday. I had Mugabe, but I just don't have much to say on Mugabe. I oh, see that when you mentioned that as one of our current events, I thought mm. I'll let you talk about that. Otherwise, I'll make myself look like well, an idiot. Well, I was going to say I'll let you because you're smarter than me. But I just again. That's, that's again. That's a poor statement. I'm not. Um, what? Um, yeah, Manson. Don't know about enough about him. Again, your dad was talking to me, and I just had to pretend like I knew. What he was yeah, talking about. yeah, but that's what I do when he I was talks. Going along he nod, like, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you go. Know what yeah, else well? he, assumes, really he assumes. He nice, assumes. I know when, when he talks about like Rolling Stones. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, them guys. Yeah. yeah, no, I like it when I hear him talking to you about stuff, and he goes, and he he said something like, you know that big, you know Woodstock, and you were going, yeah. yeah. Oh, I do actually know Woodstock. I do know what that is. That's Good. the festival. I, Good. Know I did like I like that. But when he was saying, I, I like was that thinking, you're thinking. I, I was like thinking, that. you don't even know that Tom doesn't know. You, you know, sometimes <laughs> as well, when, when he says something like talking about Rolling Stones, I'm scared that you're going to embarrass me and be like, "Oh, what's he Rolling Stones know. then?" And ask me, and then I will have no. I idea. wouldn't do that to you. Like when you when I walked in wearing my gym top the other day, and you uh, that's different. Oh, is it? It's completely Let's different. Let's all laugh at him. <laughs> it's because you were wearing a gym top. I looked great in it though. Yeah, you look like Dr. Dre in that. I need a doctor, doctor to bring me back. He looks. Why aren't we going to do the doctor bit a few more times? I, I need, need a doctor, 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 to, doctor bring to, to bring me There's back. Two. I need a doctor, 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 doctor to yes. bring me back to life. Bring me, me back, back to life. life. I can't sing today. My voice is husky. Yeah, usually you hit those notes a lot nicer. <clears throat> I'm still hungover. Oh, don't blame it on the alcohol. I'm 26 Blame it on the uh, 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 I'm 26 now. <sighs> I'm past it. Yeah. We're all so past it. You know? I'm not going to be famous anymore. Yes, you are. Yeah, I am. Who am I kidding? <laughs> <laughs> That's like life's mission for everyone now, isn't it? No. Just be known. No, it's not. It is. It's not. I feel like it is. I can't think of anything worse. I really can't. So you don't want 10,000 likes on your Instagram pictures? I've never uploaded an Instagram photo in my life. You haven't, have you? No. But you're always going like like and share, guys. Because I don't give a fuck. I do that for a joke. I can't uh, give a fuck. Oh, this he's, girl he's says joking to me the other day, now. This girl says to me the other day, she's like, oh, I'm still, I'm, I'm uh, eagerly awating your first Instagram post. I was like, you're going to be waiting a long time. Because <laughs> I just don't care for it. Because it's not going to happen, darling. Yeah, I'm just not that way inclined. I don't, darling, I, I don't darling, give a shit. Stand. And it's all just a dick when you can't. Like, I get, in fact, I can't even say it. You what? They might uh, one day listen. Who? Someone I know oh. said something to me the other day about it. Yeah, don't, don't Basically, someone it. asked me for a like on one of their pictures. Uh, makes me sick mm. to my stomach. It was just a, like, oh, okay, well. How dare they? 
But like, you're, you're like, how many people have you done this to? Because I've, if someone's messaging you asking for a light, you ain't the first person that they've asked to light. Of course not. What? And that's just how they started the conversation. I can't remember. It was like a month ago. Have mm. you got cigars, by the way? Yeah. Since when did you smoke cigars, bro? Since I made it. <laughs> 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 that's what made men do it's true uh, do you no, know what a made man they're is not, they're, um, do you know what a made man is a man who's made but do you know what that means like someone who's rich no it's a mafia term when you get made yeah like I'm made and now I can get out of the game no that's when you're in the game for life oh you're a made once you man, get made yeah. you can never leave oh that's dry have you never watched Sopranos no wow or Goodfellas or Scarface See, that's another one I pretend regularly that I've watched. I've never watched Scarface. <laughs> Doesn't do it for me, man. I love Sopranos, I don't care but I just... about this gangster life. I don't care. Well, I just live it. So it's like, do you know what I mean? But that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm living yeah. it. Yeah. I ain't got to watch no TV. No, but you know what? I, I did watch... You know, I think I'd like Peaky Blinders better than all you'd the other love, ones. You'd love Peaky Blinders. Because I like the sort of English gangster lot. Yeah. They're a bit more... they got more personality. And all the American Italian mafia guys, they're like... Over-dramatized. Hey, where's, yeah. hey, you know, you come to my house. But it's like, oh, bruv, just be funny, yeah? Mm -hmm. You're boring. Peaky Blinders as well is based on truth. It's like, it's done really well. I watched uh, Legend the other day with Tom Hardy when he plays both Cray Twins. Great film. Mm. Great I film. I heard that's good. He's, it's, but they're, they're, they're just funny lads, you know? Crazy. Yeah. I wouldn't describe them as funny lads. They were very funny. <laughs> Ooh, so I'm reaching to my mic. What are you scrolling through on your phone? Oh, I was looking for more current events, but I'm not really finding anything. Could we be any less professional? Um, scrolling. I maybe. did the research. I steered the ship, right? There's enough current events. You are steering us. Yeah, and That's, we've and we've, we've been steered. We've we've pulled up in the bay. Yeah. No, I'll give you that. Hold on. The anchor's in. Yeah. Now we're just we're treading. We're treading water. Yeah. All right. Well, looks like we've done it. We've made it. We've made it out the other side. We've let our people go. Ooh. Yes, we have. Let my people go. Let them go. Can we have more singing sections? I feel like we should set an alarm for every 15 minutes. We just sing a whole song. <laughs> 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 and then, but we have to prepare the songs we're going to sing beforehand so we know all the lyrics. I was and supposed stuff. to write we'll us get a the song. We should get the lyrics up. I was supposed to write us a song. Now you want to sing other people's song? We make our own fucking song. Oh, we're just going to freestyle. Mm. There was a... Uh, oh, what were the classic songs? Yeah, we had some classic group songs, man. Ryan, no, I want, Ryan I want, stop trying. I want some um some ant songs. Oh, ant songs. Well, we have to figure one out. Quick freestyle. Ants <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> All right, they're everywhere. <laughs> I see ants everywhere, and they're scuttling around and making me sick. Cause I'm one of them. Why are they making you sick? If you're Cause one I'm of one of them. So making me sick. So you make yourself sick. Yeah, it all comes from self. Self is the key window to life. You're, you're looking inwards when you should be looking outwards. Mate, it is Once you stop looking within... Is there any matter without consciousness? Once you stop looking within, you'll find what is out. Me and Gandhi are on the same level. Is that what Gandhi said? No, that's what I said. <laughs> But like I could come out with something and no one would listen, but if Gandhi said it, it would be meaningful. Yeah, but surely you got to stop fair. looking with your eyes because it's inside. Well, no. It's all inside. It's all inside. Joe, <laughs> oh. you know I did watch the other day some weird, creepy conspiracy thing about UFOs. 100% real. Of course. Well, 9 out of 10 UFOs are... Planes are UFOs. Yeah. Oh. It's mad. Fact. Fact. Joe Chris Eubank Jr., his brother's insane. He's on Snapchat just talking about how like uh, how planes in the sky polluting us and how the water's poisoning us. And he's like just walking around on... on he's in a men's shape, though. He's walking because <laughs> he just eats healthy shit. Yeah. It? So he's like walking around on Snapchat, like filming this guy going, look at all that shit that they're poisoning us with, man. And they tell us that there's not poison, but it is. And I was like, whoa. Well, we need someone out there preaching the truth. Intense. And like Chem he made trails, this... Bro. It looks so bad. So he like... He, oh my God. Like, it looked like shit. He like, he made this like stew out of just things I've never heard of. Mm. He was like, this is like barley bean. And it was just like, then he like fucking poured boiling water for it. Like 
blanched it all out and there was just this like juice that was red and he goes look how amazing it looked like a puddle someone had shat in ah. and he was just like look how amazing it is I'll drink this for the week and I was like good lord ah. get on him get on the lad my brother does it with tap water Economics. he filters tap water it's because they're poisoning us because we, we they le- put there is a lead lot of, in there, there is a lot of shit that comes out of it yeah you filter it and then the bottom of it is just shit and mm-hmm. you're like fuck I'm drinking that that's going inside me yeah it strengthens your immune system don't chat to me, bros. I hate bro science now. Well, well, you're new... telling me that's not strengthening your immune system? What in it is strengthening your immune system? The fact that you're learning to deal with the parasites. So you said you, that's, you're, by that same um, recognition, smoking cigarettes should immu- uh, strengthen your immune system. No. Why? Because... I'm challenging your bro science. Is this is what happens to bro science when you challenge Moderation. Them. Moderation. It's like chemo, isn't it? So if I drink it's tap like water... Chemo. So if I so okay, so if I drink tap water all day, every day, it'll start being bad for me. But if I only drink two, it's good for me. Mm-hmm. Well, by cigarettes. So if then that, so by the same, if I only smoke no. two cigarettes a day, it's still good for me. No. All ah, right. No. But it's not bad for you if you only had two like a cigarette a day. It's not bad for you if you not had two bad. cigarettes a day. Not that bad. It's not. What having a cigarette a day? Is it bad? Why is it bad? Moderation, mate. It's better than having a burger every day. Mm, no, no, not true. Why? Not true at all. What McDonald's burger every day is healthier well, than different. a cigarette. That's what I was literally. I'd say it depends what burger. Well, I'm in a shit burger. That's actually an interesting. Argument. What is worse for you a day? If you had to eat a double cheeseburger a day or smoke a cigarette a day, what would actually be less bad for you? I think this one cigarette a day would be less. Bad. I feel like it might be one cigarette as well. But then, do you know there's something like 50, over 50 chemicals in every cigarette you smoke? <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Mm. Mm. But then, what the fuck is in that burger, man? <laughs> I love it when like, there's like companies who have like Big Macs in the offices and they've been like looking fresh for like seven Eight years. years. Yeah, they just never. We had a, I told you before we had a pack of crumpets from Tesco. Mm. Left them in this like bread bin that we never used. And it just got forgotten about. Pulled them out three months later. They were perfect. Did you eat them? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that man. You're shook, blood. It's like nothing. They should have. They were out of date by three months. Mm. Think what is in that man. That is supposed to go mouldy. Yeah. Fucked up. Isn't it? Insane, man. Guys, just... Stop being crumpets and just, burgers. Just stop being so indulgent. Mind Stick you, to I, your one cigarette a I day. Did, I could have two lovely Tesco crumpets this morning, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> it was very nice. You like a bit crumpet, don't you? I love it. Crumpet. Go out on a weekend looking for crumpet. Wake up in the morning looking for crumpet. Why do some people call girls crumpet? Because it's like sweet, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Sweet, it's like bread. It's like a treat, isn't it? How am I going to go to the gym? Are you still going to the gym? I mean, no, but like, yeah, <laughs> I want to. Well, you're going to have to discuss that with your gym partner, which isn't me since you dropped me. Like, no, you dropped me. Yes, I know. Shut up. You uh, dropped me before we left, and then you're like, no, no. What we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to quit this gym, and we're going to join it pure gym, which is like down the road from me, and I just walk there. So I joined, and then you didn't come with. Nah, you went over there with Dale anyway. He was already there. You two went looking around and signing up. There's no looking around. You sign up online. Oh, I, at dude. my own house, signed up online. Uh, I was just proactive. I'm, I just did it. Boom. Done. Mm. Did you just growl at me? No, I just bit the mic. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, it's a wrap. should be interesting. I think it is a wrap. Um, rap McGee. Wrap it up, wrap it up, baby. Uh, should we get? Should we? Should we see him out with a little jingle? No, I like to end at the middle of a jingle. Okay, all right. I don't like to end on a song. I all like, right, to, I all like right. to end on a serious note. Yeah. Okay. Well, we do a lot. We do a lot of fucking around. Let's do a serious. Yeah. Serious well, outro. fucking. Remember, guys. Global warming's real. Um, the sea is very polluted. If you're gonna go for a massage, make sure you get Mary. No, make sure you don't get Mary. Just ask me. And also Mary, yeah. Yeah, Mary. Do I look like the type of guy that just needs to be jacked off? Like? Yeah, you think he can't get it for free? You think he needs to man. pay for the touch of a woman? Man. You know what I mean? Look at the line on his hair. Just kidding, Mary. I'll be around at 8.30 on Thursday. Um, yeah, but Mary, seriously, man. Fuck.
bit. I beg you guys to subscribe next time you're there. Or I'll tell everyone what you do. <laughs> 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 All right, Ants. Um, we're going to... If you are listening, thank you for listening. Yeah, thanks for listening because it must be hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you always diminishing the product? Because I great... hate myself. Yeah, it's true. We could have like 100,000 subscribers. You'd still be like, we're shit. Yeah. And I'd, we, could have, you could, we could have one and I'd still be like, we're great. It'd be part of the sell, part of the pitch. Yeah. All right, guys. Look after yourself. Um, we'll be back next week with more um, headline hit, hit, news. Hit that like button, yeah. Breaking news, um, pointless stories, love, Current jest, events. sport. Maybe I've got that happy ending off Mary. Yeah, we can hear all about the uh, the next sticky encounter. Do there. you need a nap? You look like you're slowly going into a nap, <laughs> just like stretching. <laughs> you like you know when a cat gets tired on the sofa. And just I'm like, always hey. tired. <laughs> you are <isn't> it? <laughs> always. I could always you, sleep. You need to be on. You need to get a. Uh, you need to become a coffee drinker. Just throughout the day, just drink coffees. Mm, maybe it'll buzz you up, man. Mm. Trust me, you'll you'll feel good. All right, guys, I'm gonna go have a coffee. Um, have a lovely afternoon, Ants. Peace and love. Peace and love.